More than 32,000 Texans have died since the start of the pandemic. When we hear that number, it can be hard to put into perspective just how many people that is. Well, KXAN's Tom Miller spoke today with an Austin artist showing us the scope of this massive loss. A mesmerizing field of red, white, and pink transforms the grass in front of Shane Riley's central Austin home into a blanket of color. I thought, how do I visually represent it? These are real people. And there's a lot of them. This eye-catching tribute became a daily project for Riley starting in May. I think I started with 972. When we met Riley, Texas had recently crossed 31,000 deaths. I'm just sort of putting these flags in wherever there's an empty space. He's now putting out more than 200 flags every day. When I started this, I had it all in neat rows, like you know, like Arlington Cemetery or something. Never thought that I'd be hunting for places to put flags. This is personal for Riley. His son is immunocompromised and can't afford to get sick. We've been pretty diligent about, um, you know, trying to be safe. Other loved ones had to fight for their lives. I have family members that have been hospitalized. Thankfully, no one's died. His yard serves as a reminder of just how many have not been so lucky. Some stopping to write down the names of those they've lost. This isn't just a flag. This is that's someone's mom or dad. That's somebody's friend that died. Riley hopes this reminder turned memorial will encourage others to stay safe and potentially save lives. In Austin, Tom Miller, KXAN News. Riley says he is running out of room on his lawn and would like to move his memorial. He suggested moving it to the state capitol lawn, which would have to be approved by the state preservation board. He also has a GoFundMe page set up to help pay for a potential move.